Why do we always have to cater to women? <laughs> we put them on pedestals. We make up cockeyed rules about the weaker sex. You get into an elevator with one of the weaker sex, and you take off your hat in some kind of pagan tribute. We keep treating them like flowers, and they keep outliving us. But well, there must be a girl somewhere who thinks it, thinks it's a wonderful career just to have a home and babies. His only thought is to make her husband happy. <laughs> Princess Tarji would be the ideal wife. Every secret and every skill of 5,000 years have been imparted to her every day and night of her life. You see before you a woman whose entire being is dedicated to but one desire, the desire to bring to her husband the gift of complete happiness. Yes, I see what you mean. I do not understand your country. In America, machines do everything. Uh, I'm not quite. I can be a woman, too. I know. I, See? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, a woman's work is never done. <laughs> Got to wash him, dress him, feed him, and burp him. Darling. Darling, I'm back. It seems I've waited all my life for you. And in a little while... And in a little while, we can beat you. Oh. <laughs> 